Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Now in today's video, I am going to be doing a much, much needed makeover in my tack room. Now listen, having TikTok was really stressful, okay? And I'm a new mum and I just haven't gotten around to cleaning up. Basically, I haven't cleaned up for three months, is what I'm essentially trying to say. So our tack room is just like not in the best state it's ever been in. In fact, it's probably in the worst. I've ever seen it but what is sure is that it is well and truly time for me to go in and clean up this tack room it is so bad now lucky for me I'm actually the only one who's really using it at the moment because everyone else who has horses here um, they're actually so young that they're not being ridden so essentially I'm the only one using the tack room which also means I'm the only one who can be blamed for the mess possibly definitely so I've got a pretty big makeover plan for it today but first I'm just gonna show you guys the state that it has gotten into I'm so embarrassed but like seriously what what is this Hannah I cannot believe how bad I've let this get like there is just so much crap on the floor it's not even funny just like uh, bin bin Kind of a bin, kind of a place I put towels, random water jug, don't even know where that came from. Probably a rug that needs a repair. Don't even know whose halters those are. Like, more random crap. And then we go into the other tack room and the situation in here is not much better to be honest. I mean, there's less on the floor. I mean, but like, why? Why is there a bird feeder in here? I don't understand. And like, these tubs are just like everywhere. Like, they're at a point where none of the labels that are on them actually match to like what's in there. Like, it'll say fleeces, but like, there won't be fleeces in there. And to be honest, I haven't touched any of these up here because they've gotten so heavy and so awkward that it's just like too hard. So, I really need to sort through those. And then, my like saddles and saddle blankets, like, I can't even describe this situation. Like, usually I have such a good system going, and this is just all over the place. I can't even explain. So, as you guys can see, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. <laughs> It's definitely the worst I've ever let it get, so that is really embarrassing for me. But today I'm going to be fixing it up so it's all good. It's going to look much better in the next two days. I do you think it's going to take me two days? So my thought is, is that today, I've only got a few hours, I'm going to call this like the clean out phase where I basically grab like all of these boxes and stuff and we've got all of these sort of like random, um, what do you call them? What are you called? A trunk. Trunks. Which are filled with other rugs. So there's just way too many rugs and I just know that half of them we haven't even been using and probably will never use so we may as well look at throwing them out if they're not usable or just selling them on if they are in good condition. So that's kind of the first stage and then the second stage I actually want to like play around in here a little bit because I feel like maybe the way we've got it configured is not the best. I don't know. Stay tuned because I'm not 100% sure what I want to do yet. I kind of want to like clear it to a blank slate. Um, but initially, my plan had been to, like I said, grab everything and start bringing it out into the open out here. But you may notice that there is a huge ass puddle out here in an undercover area. How does that make sense? Well, let me tell you. What I did was something very silly. I generally at night put the girl's big water bowl underneath here and I fill that up because Tic Tac can't actually reach the automatic water feeders. So, I didn't put the plug back in and someone with a very small little face fit into that tiny little gap and turned the tap so that the water was running and the girls flooded the entire stable as you can see it's still wet I can't even describe to you I wish I took a photo it was so disgusting I could just hear them squelching when I turned up um, and it flooded all the way out here as well so that was great I wonder who the culprit was hmm Hello, Tic Tac, did you happen to see who it was who put the water on last night? I heard they have a very small little muzzle that likes to inspect things. Was it you maybe? Mm hmm? Hmm? Could that have been you? Tic Tac. She's guilty. Guilty! It is officially time to get started or I'm going to run out of time. Um, I will say, just excuse my beautiful outfit. It is like an all grey tracksuit with like fluffy snow boots. Um, I decided I needed to be comfortable to be able to get through this because there is a lot to do. Um, so yeah, let's get started. <laughs> and of course I bought essentials like the gloves so that I don't need to touch any spiders because I'm not about that life. You don't need to worry because you know the 
Okay, so I've just finished clearing these shelves and you can kind of see my vision is starting to come together. I am getting excited now. Okay, so it's going really well. I'm actually really excited to show you guys. I think I've found a really cool way to like reconfigure everything. But now I have all of this to go through. So I've still got quite a bit to do and like this is the probably needs to go in the trash pile at the moment. Something tells me uh, that helmet right there probably isn't legal for competing in anymore. <laughs> Looks a little old, little retro. So as expected we are now on to day two of the cleanup and to be honest I got about one wall done yesterday so so I mean yesterday I did say that I would be sorting but actually I didn't get to really any sorting so this is the pile from just the two sets of shells that I cleared and I've still got more to clear so I really need to get a hurry on now. I'm on my way So as you guys can see, I am starting to get there now. So we've got a few tubs back on the wall now. And I've just started playing around with the saddles and the way that they're configured. Um, I really want to try and get rid of like all of this. But yeah, I'm starting to get there, it's exciting. I don't know how it's possible but I'm now at the end of day two and I'm still not done. If anything, um, this area is maybe looking less tidy now, like two steps forward, three, step, three, three steps forward, two steps back. That's what it's kind of feeling like right now. My problem is that I don't know exactly how I want things set up so I keep like stopping and like playing around with stuff and it's just wasting a lot of time. So tomorrow I need to crack the whip on myself and I need to get this done. I haven't even gotten to the other room yet. Like that's just like, yeah, I haven't even tried to deal with that yet. So wish me luck guys, I'll see you tomorrow. All right, so to be honest, we are now on to either day, is it day three or day four? It's been a lot more days than I expected either way. I'm actually, can't believe I can't think of what day it is. I think it's day four. So <laughs> I basically went shopping yesterday and today I'm gonna to have to be building some things so I'm gonna get started on that but I need to finish this today because otherwise the video is gonna be late for you guys so I'm gonna get started and just get into it I'm extremely pleased to say that I am now on the home stretch, you guys. I have one more room to do. This has taken me a lot more hours than I expected, 
but the tack room looks awesome so I'm really excited to get this room done because this is definitely the worst of it and I think a lot of this is really just going to be going straight in the bin. I feel like everything is starting to come together now guys um, we have essentially cleared this whole back wall as you can see so I'm on spiderweb patrol now I've got to clean the wall and then I have a bit of an idea about what I want to do with this space so better get started Alright guys, I am now on to probably day 100 at this point. I know I've probably said it about three times already, but this is actually going to be the last day. Everything is set up exactly how I want it to be. Um, and now I'm just doing like the final details before I show you guys all the hard work I've been putting into this bloody tack room the last few days. Guys, I finally finished. Oh my goodness. So like five million days later, I have finally cleaned the tack room up. I am so excited to finally be at this point. My life is already feeling so much more zen. Now all I have to do is try and maintain this, which to be honest, should not be too hard because it's almost like things didn't have a proper spot before and now they do. I'm actually pretty proud of how clean and organized I was able to get it. I mean like I was the one who messed it up in the first place but like whatever that doesn't even matter it's clean now. You guys can be the judges though so let me know down below how you think we went. I mean I only spent about $150 so I think I did a pretty good job considering <laughs> and of course if you are enjoying watching myself and my horses then you can subscribe for regular videos and you can follow us on Instagram at hand Bye guys! <laughs> Two, one.